As much as the left despises Fox News for good reason, I've always been kind of of the mind that it's better for public figures on the left to go on the network and make their case boldly rather than pretend the network doesn't exist. Because sometimes you get absolute gold like this exchange. They're, this hearing, they're talking about a $10 billion investment in the greatest military force on the planet. That's the men and women of our nation that run our military. We have to stay current. We have to have the most technologically advanced military on the face of the planet. We have to do this. We can, can't so afford not to. So you want the batteries in the tanks? I do. I want, I, if, if China develops a Tesla-style tank before us, we're in trouble. Well, who says the Tesla-style tank's going to be better than a well, diesel-powered tank? Well, look, think of an electric car on the street today. You can't hear it. It's... Its engine is so much cooler, so meaning it wouldn't be detected. Former Democratic State Senator David Carlucci made an excellent case for electric vehicles, framing it around a discussion of how they would benefit the military. And while we may push back against weaponizing the military industrial complex, I think any chance to, to bring in more people on the right into any discussion about combating climate change is a win. It takes courage and a lot of calmness to debate these Fox talking heads, but isn't it so sad? satisfying. I mean, this look really just is priceless. I'm not one to argue that the most important investment in terms of climate change is greening our military by any means, but what Carlucci does at least is open up the conversation about investing in EV up to people who currently just see any climate initiatives as a radical left issue. The reality is that the US is falling behind in technology and infrastructure investment to places like China and it's possible possible that many of these green initiatives are also solutions to our crumbling infrastructure. I also really like how Carlucci in this next bit talks about how much of this EV conversation is about investing in our future. It's not only a great response to the bad faith criticism of the Fox host, but it's a really inspiring way to think about America's role on the global stage and how uniting around common goals can bring more people into this climate change issue. Take a look. So you're, we're, we're going to charge in the tanks when we get back to base, hopefully they charge quick, but we don't have an electric grid because we're in a third world country. I think the concept we're thinking about is today, 2023. We're talking about tomorrow, seven years from now. What will the world look like? Look, when we were talking about when uh, the electric car, we didn't think it'd be as sleek, as fast as the Tesla and electric cars that are on the market today. It's possible. We need to lead the, na the world in innovation, and the military's always having the breakthrough. Real Fox is always fear-mongering about what's happening right now. We can't focus on infrastructure because the economy is bad and people can't put food on their tables. We can't talk about police reform because of all of this crime. And we get addicted to this type of thinking. It's why social media is so all-consuming. But we all know it's much more gratifying to think about issues in terms of how they reflect the best of us, our higher instincts, and our long-term goals as a nation. Who we want to be, not who we are at our worst moments. And I really think that this appearance on Fox by a former Democratic state senator frames the conversation about climate change in exactly these terms so that so many more people can hear this message and get invested in it. For more of my coverage on The Breakdown, you can watch my latest video on Kellyanne Conway throwing Ronda DeSantis under the bus by clicking on the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.